Hi, my name is Tio Karam Dimasanga. So today I'm going to share about the contributions of our ancestors and how we conserve and preserve them. First, the contributions of our ancestors. The contributions of our ancestors allowed humans to develop and function better in their daily lives. So here are some examples. The first one is hieroglyphics. This is the way of writing, which derives from Greek herios, meaning scarred, and glypho, which means scalp, etc. They were mainly pictograms, which symbolized people, animals, plants, and stylized objects, which were inscribed on papyrus, temples, and pyramids. Current researchers have said that hieroglyphics are the most ancient type of writing in the world. Second, the wheel. Today's civilization will not function without the wheel. This circular mechanical object that revolves around an axis is a fundamental component in many machinery, inland vehicles, and also to make pottery. The first evidence of the wheel is found in the Sumerian pictogram, dated the year 3500 BC. One of the first ways it was used was in oxen pulled wagons to transport goods, as well as lathes to make ceramic objects with a greater speed and perception. And now, let's talk about how to conserve and preserve the contribution of our early ancestors. As a result of natural aging, heritage materials are often found to be in a deteriorated state. Archaeological metal objects retrieved from marine burial sites are usually covered in corrosion products and concretion. Heavily deteriorated glass exhibits sizzling and iridescence phenomena. While certain types of paper or plastic products adopt a yellow coloration on aging, the job of the conservator is to devise ways and means of stabilizing and preserving cultural heritage materials from the further decades. To accomplish this desperately requires prior knowledge of the materials constituting the artifact undergoing treatment, as well as a good understanding of the phenomena leading to material degradation. A conservation intervention might involve cleaning, consolidation, or the application of a protective coating. To protect the heritage material is by putting them on the natural cultural heritage sites, museums, libraries, and archive collections around the world. And lastly, the best way to preserve our cultural heritage, whatever it may be, is to share it with others.